Hey guys, how are you? This is Wendy Kim of Your Dream Realize Coaching, empowering moms to start their own business so they can have their ideal lifestyle and more time and money for what matters. So how many of you need a sister wife? I'm guessing a lot of you because in this day and age, as moms, we are so busy. So I should probably start off by that was my husband calling me. Uh, yeah, you don't actually know what a sister wife is. So just to give you a background, there was this show, a reality TV show called Sister Wives. And I can tell you, I was not like a huge fan of this show. I know my friend Andrea told me that she would binge watch this show. But this show was about a family where they had a husband and a bunch of wives and it would basically detail kind of like their day-to-day -day lives and I again I didn't really watch this show much although maybe I'll start watching it um but I remember flipping through channels one day and then I saw that the show was playing and I was like well, let me just see what this show is about maybe it'll be interesting and so there was this new wife that they were bringing into the family and the wives were talking about how they felt about this new young pretty wife and I thought that was really weird but there was a part of this show that really fascinated me and it was how the wives worked together so there was one wife who her sole responsibility was to work. So she'd go to work and focus on that and then come home and relax and not worry about dinner or she would interact with the kids, but you know, just very relaxed. Then there was a mom who was focused solely, like primarily on childcare, on taking care of the kids. And then there were other moms who helped with that. And then there was a mom focused on running the household. And this fascinated me because I just thought, oh my gosh, wouldn't that be amazing if I didn't have to wear all these hats as a mom where I could just focus on one thing. And um, I'm sorry, but unless you're excited about the idea of polygamy, uh, that probably is not a realistic setup for you and your family. So I'm going to give you guys three tips to help relieve some of the burden so that you don't have to actually watch Sister Wives and, and fantasize about that kind of lifestyle. So the first thing that I would say would be to ask for help. And I know some of you probably already are like, oh no, I hate asking for help. Why are you telling me to do this, Wendy? And I know I was one of those people where I, I felt bad. I was very Asian. I didn't want to burden anybody. And then, but the problem with that is that just is not, if you don't ask for help in our day and age, it, it's just not workable for our family. The reason I say this is because we used to live in villages. So, and we used to have extended family and community where we would help each other with child rearing, cooking, thing, and, and it worked. But unfortunately, nowadays, most of us don't have that. We, we may live far away from our family and, or not have that type of community around us. And so, we need to ask for help. And I remember when I started doing this, it was actually not only really good for me, but it was really good for the person I was asking to help me. Because then they felt like they could then rely on me when they needed help. And then we started, and it, like, with babysitting, I have a neighbor who's great at gardening, she helped me with that. So it, it really, we think we're burdening people when we ask for help, but we're actually making them feel good and opening the door for them to get help when they need it. So the first thing would be to ask for help. The second thing would be to get the kids to help. 
And again, you're probably like, I, my kids are gonna whine, they're gonna complain, I don't wanna deal with that. And I've been there. I remember a little while ago, we were having, we were cleaning up the kitchen, my husband and I, and the kids were just off doing their own thing. And we were feeling so exhausted and from cleaning and cooking. And so we decided, okay, after dinner, the kids are gonna help us clean up. And of course they belly ached about it, they whined and complained, but after a while it became more routine. And so the thing that's great is we can actually spend family time, but at the same time help each other to clean up faster so that we can do some other things that are fun for our family. And it teaches them responsibility versus entitlement. So the second thing I would say is to get your kids to help with something that would be age appropriate for them. And the third thing I would say is, thanks. The third thing I would say is to consider starting a business. And you're probably like, what? I'm so overwhelmed, Wendy. Why would I even start a business? And this was, this is what happened for me. When I worked a corporate job, I realized I could not do it all. I couldn't work full time, and I wasn't even working full time, I was working part time, but it was still overwhelming. Um, I couldn't like run the household. I couldn't spend great quality time with my kids. I couldn't have a great relationship with my husband. It, like something had to give. And in my case, it, it, gave with my relationship with my husband and the kids would also bear like the brunt of my frustration. And so for me, having a business that would allow me flexibility in my schedule where I work part time but still bring in income was what did the trick for me. And if you're a stay at home mom, I'm guessing you understand the burden financially that your family is facing. I mean, how much would, would you bringing in extra income help your family and help relieve stress. So I actually am starting a, launching a new program in the end of January where I will, it will be an eight week group coaching program where I will teach you how to start a business from A to Z on a part-time basis. This is not multi-level marketing. This is how to start a business that you love and can feel great about while giving you the lifestyle and the time and money that you deserve. So if you're interested in learning more about this program, I would ask you to put in the comments, yes, and I will contact you and give you the information to apply. Okay guys, hope you have an amazing week and I will talk to you next week, bye.